Hello. We are grateful for you taking time to learn about our ministry as the Regional Church of Oregon and Southwest Idaho, and we covet your prayers for our ministry. Greetings from our regional staff, regional ministers Doug Wirt and Kathy Myers Wirt, bookkeeper Liz Cronin, communications Stacy Shelton, and new church and leadership development Bernice Rivera. In 2014, we gathered to form a new regional church made up of congregations from Oregon and Southwest Idaho. During our three worship experiences, we used water brought from the rivers that run through our cities and towns and combined those waters in different ways. We gave people jars of changed water to take back to their congregations. We formed five districts, each of them named for a different river system in our geography. In the midst of deep changes due to COVID-19 pandemic during 2021, we still saw familiar highlights emerge in our shared ministries. Our deep connection to our global ministry partners of Fidice Ecuador remains strong, with over 20 members from our region participating in a virtual pilgrimage to visit Ecuador facilitated by global ministry staff. We continued to offer resources for training in a wide variety of topics by using webinar formats, while also providing COVID-19 resource updates. Our regional elders kept a pastoral eye on the retired and specialized clergy. Without travel time in cars and airplanes, we had almost full attendance at every regional board meeting via Zoom. More about our futuring process, led by our board, is found in our written general board report. During 2021, giving patterns have remained strong, with a record response to our annual fund and Christmas offering, as well as an increase in all but one of the regular offerings and a slight decrease in DMF. We move into 2022 with a healthy balance in our accounts and a balanced budget adopted for the coming year. When it was time for an invitation for the 2021 Christmas offering, our staff created a video to give context for the offering. Here is part of what we told ourselves about ourselves in that invitation. Imagine God's love revealed. In Oregon and Southwest Idaho, during this complex year, we see God's love revealed in abundance through our regional church and local congregations. We see God's love when ministers gather online in district groups and support each other. We see God's love in the creativity shown by congregations and our regional ministry in using technology for worship individually and in groups of congregations together. We see God's love in our newer congregations, with one adapting a Spanish-language worship service into a new radio ministry, and another tearing down their fellowship hall to build affordable housing units. And in our longer-established congregations during the pandemic, as many adapt their feeding ministries to get the food where it's needed and still keep everyone as safe as possible. We see God's love in pastoral search processes, installations, and ordinations, as well as webinars that equip our leaders for ministry and our recent Hispanic men's retreat, all of these done in the midst of a pandemic. We see God's love as congregations, regional, and general staff rethink our uses of physical buildings in conversation with each other for faithful stewardship. We see God's love as women join together online and in person to share in spiritual resilience in a time of pandemic, while they stay in connection with ministries of disaster recovery, refugee resettlement, support of children and elders in India, and with our partners of Fidice in Ecuador. We see God's love in district events, like youth camps in Hood River and Boise, and a picnic for the Saniam River District. Looking into an uncertain future, we join our congregations in imagining what is next. One thing is for certain, we need not fear the future, for God is already there inviting us forward. 
We pray for God to use us in 2022 as a community of congregations in Oregon and Idaho, joined with the whole church of the Disciples of Christ, witness an ecumenical church around the world. New Days will call for new ways of mission engagement, training leaders, pastoral care, church governance, and evangelism. As we did eight years ago at our 2022 Regional Assembly, we will continue to lean into the image of a flowing river moving us into an unknown future beyond the next turn, beyond our current sight line. A contemporary poet said, the stream is always revising. Water is always ready to learn. We seek to be learners through an experience of the Holy Spirit that unifies and propels us forward, inviting us to loosen our grip on how we have been church in the past in order to grasp the good news of what God is doing in this moment to invite us to a future of transformational ministry. To learn more about us and to see pictures of our ministry, please visit our website and Facebook page.